Hello, hello, you are watching Sasha Things. I am Sasha. Hi, thanks for watching. Um, for the viewers that watch my videos more, you can see at the background that I'm going to do my nails. So, I already did some nails. And I left one over for you guys to show you how to make a, a hand paint French nail. So, let's put some nail art on this nail. So before we start, you need to be sure that you felt your nail and not buff your nail because buffing is making it smoother and you want to have it a little bit rough to make sure that the product you put on stays on better. So here we go with a small brush. This is my favorite and I really need a new one because it's going to bend a bit. But okay. And we need some black gel paint, in this case from Young Nails. I love the brand. So we put in our brush and you wipe it a bit off so you don't have too much on top of your brush. You can wipe a bit with your brush so you be sure that it's in the brush also because otherwise you will get a drop on the point of your brush. So here we go. I have made my brush black and the smile line is very, very um, personal. So if you want to have a small smile or a big smile, it's up to you guys. I do my way. So here it goes. So you choose the point where you're starting. You grab a bit extra paint. So I like to start almost in the half of my nail bed and you draw your smile line to the half of the bed. Normally I sit differently so it's a bit different when I'm holding your hand like this. So, okay, other side, so I hope you can, you cannot see this, but otherwise it will be messed up. So I do it just the way I can see it, okay? So you want to be sure that you have this position at the other side, so you make a line and you imagine here's a line. So you start at the other point around the same height. And you draw the line up to the other end. And after the 30 seconds in the light are over, you have the best great smile line to make this better. So here we go. You put some black again on your brush. And we go back over it to make it a bit sharper. And maybe I can do this like this now, so you can see it maybe a bit better. So we make this sharper. And you really want to make sure that you end where you need to. Well, I think it's great. So again, 30 seconds into the light and away with the gel paint because otherwise it will cure and that's not what we want. So a little alcohol on a paper towel to wipe off the black on your tile. And in this case, it's just an old um, kitchen tile or bathroom tile. So we have new ones and these were old ones that I have left over. So these are great for um, putting stuff on and filming also. You need to be sure that it has a coat over it, that it's not a stone, you know, so it needs to have a layer of um, shiny stuff. Okay, so it needs to be a flat, smooth surface, you know. Okay, onto the pot, the polish, the gel polish, onto the gel polish. So I choose a Aquamarine 101 gloss from Manic Color, and it's also from Young Nails. We take the first layer and you really want to be sure that you're not going over the black line. So 
so it's just coloring it in and the first layer is almost always I mean not that great of color but that depends on how much pigment are in it so you will paint it up and when you are at the points of your smile line at the deepest points of your smile line I just like to paint over my whole finger area also at the other side just paint over your finger because then I will grab the book boat I really don't know how I call this in English but it's to push back your cuticles and you can also use it to scoop off the gel polish so it won't cure on your skin when you put it in the light and be sure again that you didn't have anything left on the skin and then you put it for 30 seconds into the light Ow. oh I have a cramp in my leg oh. <coughs> oh okay so we're hurrying up already so I don't think this video is going to be a long one but maybe that's nice for once second layer of the gel polish and immediately you see that the color is more banging and more pigmented than the first layer and again be sure you don't touch you don't go over the black line so again you wipe off the skin And you can also do it with your nails and again 30 seconds into this light no not 30 seconds just 10 so here we go out with the hands and we grab a bottle of black glitter and a, in my case, baby boom brush. You can use every brush that you want, but I use just a baby boom brush. So you dip it in the glitter, you tap it off real good. You tap it off on the tray again. And now this is why you put your uh, last layer of gel polish for 10 seconds in the light. It doesn't cure it all the way, but it does have a sticky layer already. So we put on some glitter and it's just enough because if you put on too much you cannot see the color so great anymore from the gel paint so you just here and there away with the brush and then you try to wipe off your tray immediately otherwise you get it on your fingers and when you put it in your face you get it everywhere where you didn't didn't want it so wipe off your brush so it won't have an, a lot of particles anymore inside of them in the hairs and then we try to wipe it flat down this way you put it again in the light for 20 seconds and now they stick and grab into the gel paint and when you polish it with a, a top coat you won't drag them along because in the cured uh, la sticky layer of a gel polish it uh, didn't grab on and hold tight so you can wipe it off if you like so if you put it in a sticky layer that needs to cure again it will grab on and stay on so if we put on a top coat over this it won't drag the black glitter with it on places that you don't want to 
close the lid of your glitter because otherwise you will knock it over and it's everywhere and really that sucks. I already told you, I don't think it's going to be a long video. I grabbed my glue, my base coat and a top coat. Why the base coat? I start off with a base coat because the nail bed isn't um, polished so it doesn't have a sticky layer it's just acrylic glitter acrylic as you can see and this is a base that needs a, a, a base coat before you put on a top coat because the top coat won't hold on a non-sticky surface so before we start we paint the nail bed So, now we go on with the top coat. So again, we start in the middle to the point. I always like to do that. You push back to the cuticle area and from there you go on to the side walls. And be sure you don't touch any skin. So if you did, you wipe it off before you put it into the light and then before we put it into the light, I really want to have a stone on top of it, a shiny stone like I have on this one. So I grab my glue and I hope there's something in it still. And I pull and I push and I push. Yes, there's something in it. And I pull, I pull and I drop a dot. I grab my stone and now it's upside down so I cannot sew the stone I grab it with my special pencil for that be sure that it's straight because otherwise you will get knots about it I will get knots about it if it's not straight so be sure it's straight hold it straight and push it into the light push it into the light so when the minute of curing time is over, you will grab a paper towel or a tissue or whatever you feel like using and you clean up the sticky layer of the top coat. And the reason that I put in the glue in wet top coat is that it grabs the stone better. Then uh, it won't drop off that easily when you, when you hit your finger to something or whatever. So it, it helps grabbing on to the stone better. So, free tip from me to you guys. Itch on the nose. Then, a very important, not to forget it. Never. So, some cuticle oil on the cuticles and rub it in. So, I take my own, my other cuticles immediately with them wipe it off a bit close the lid because otherwise you know and here we have it and this is a way that is easily to put on and take off because otherwise if you put it in the nail that's great really, but um, it's more work and difficult to take it off and this is really easy, it looks nice and after 3-4 weeks when you're done with it, you file it off and you start over after a fill up. So I really believe that this is a quick way to, you, to do a, a French and also a quick way to end a French. So I have a question. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe on my channel and give me a comment down below. I really love the comments, people. And when I get comments, YouTube thinks that uh, there's something going on on my channel and, you know, so they think it's greater and greater and greater. So I will grow better. So really, thanks for everyone who sent me a comment and keep doing it. And who didn't, please send me a comment down below. So this is it already. 
uh, I love making this nail. I think it's a great design and um, I hope you love watching it. I have fun making it and I see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.